Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to Sea of Craft. And this is actually a game that just came out recently on uh, on Steam Early Access. And as you can see, it's more or less basically it's besiege, but it's ocean based. It's actually kind of fun with the buoyancy and stuff like that. And at first, I thought it was just going to be like basic shipbuilding stuff. And I started watching the trailers and stuff like that. And there's some interesting things you could do with this game, and I thought I'd have a little bit of fun with it. Uh, it's early access right now so that some of the things aren't fully implemented yet uh the multiplayer which would be i guess co-op and co-op multiplayer is still in the test version right now and then there's open sea which is more or less like open world you start off from scratch and you build your way up uh, as you can go in here at sea you get uh, different pirate badges and buffs and all that stuff and more or less like an endless adventure and then you also have the creative mode and then the campaign which is where you gain points to unlock different blocks and things and stuff like that. Uh, so it's a couple of different types of maps that th we have to play with. We have an oasis, which is desert based. We have archipelago. Or archipelago. Archipelago. I hope I'm saying that right on the third time. Uh, it's basically uh, ocean with some islands and stuff like that. And there's straight up, just straight up ocean. Uh, this one here does have destructible things like tents and windmills and stuff like that. And uh, this one, I haven't seen anything destructible yet, but time, time will tell, you know, it's still early access and, and I haven't really seen much in the open world except uh, a lot of water to explore. But anyways, I was thinking we'd go ahead and check out the, the campaign here first, uh, just because I'm still getting the hang of building the game. I had played a little bit and tried a few different things, but uh, let's go ahead and enter the chapters. So as you can see, it's basically like Besiege, different levels we have to do on this one. We're just basically getting to checkpoints with a designated amount of time and we get clearances. Alright, so let's go ahead and enter. Alright, now this one's basically fairly simple. We just have to get to a certain destination, so we just need a boat with some uh, sail. Oh, we're making a sailboat. Oh, this will be fun. All right, so uh, let me see what I can come up with, and I'll be right back. On second thought, we'll actually build this first one together, just so you can get an idea of the building mechanics. Uh, as you can see, each uh, object has a mass, a buoyancy, and defense. Of course, wood is very weak, it's flammable, it's light, and it's really buoyant. And then you get into things like lead blocks, which are actually weights that are heavy, small, and have a little higher defense. Uh, and here we would have... Uh, different boat parts like hull sections and stuff like that. These are things that we unlock with the uh, uh, The metals that I'm getting with the star challenge, I believe uh, Propeller there's also wheels and other things we can get uh, there's gears uh, different you know st structural weapons um, things like cannons Cell what was it salvo cannons and stuff like that. Decorative blocks and all that stuff, so yeah, there's lots of things we could do. Uh, but anyways, we just need to build a raft that has some speed. So we're going to go ahead and, as you can see, they have a very uh, intuitive um, rotating scheme. So you just like Q, E, R. Q, E, and R. And it actually shows you the way to go. Oh, I right clicked. Uh, right click actually just takes you back to the build menu. So we'll do that. And then we'll probably do two levels, just get a little bit more buoyancy. Uh, we do have buoyancy barrels, we add more buoyancy, as you can see, super big buoyancy. Uh, but we, we we may not need it, we'll just do some fine tuning, we'll put some propellers across the bottom here. Uh, just like with Siege 2, everything has customizations, like you can uh, have different key bindings for stuff, uh, forces, basic stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, let's see how, see how she floats. Somewhat, and there's actually one thing I realized I have no way to steer. Now we go back to the build menu and throw a couple of propellers on here, and like so. And when you place uh, propellers on the side, it automatically sets them to D A and D for turning. Now I think it's going to be inverted right now. No, it's not, so it should be good. It's a little, little tops and a little tipsy right now, but let's see if we can, we can do this without jumping out of the water. Yay, I made it, made it to the checkpoint. In other words, just try to build a boat. Yeah. Alright, uh... Let's see if we can actually do this in 12 seconds. Or, yeah, even 8 seconds if we can. Probably not. Not even close. 
There we go. I've got 12. Good enough. Let's go to the next one. Along the tide. Unlocked new part. We have a rudder now. A simple paddle rubber can steer your hull by pressing keys when built at the rear of it. So in other words, I get to get rid of these and use the rudder instead. So let's actually try that. Let's see how big this rudder is. Go over here and... Okay, I could actually put that in the middle. Let's try that. Take these ones out. Uh, if you hold Alt and click, it automatically remove a part. So that actually makes it quite easy. Uh, uh, I guess you go down here. Hmm. Why are you going there? Oh, probably needs block. Hang on. Let's see what we have for blocks. We have no blocks. Alright, let me figure something out. Okay, well apparently it has a sta stamp on the actual corner, not in the center of the block. So I took the, replace the center one, took the two, one, two on the outside out. And then what I'll do, just to get a little more speed here, let's, uh, what do I have? This is a three, I think so. That's the wrong block, button. Put that there, and we'll get three more propellers on. Uh, in here. Come on, click it. Alright, so what do we have to do? Uh, what do we have to do on this one? Get out of the gate, 102 minutes, pass the checkpoint with 60 seconds, 60 seconds or 45 seconds. Oh, alright, now we're a little back heavy. So, let's, let us add, let's add this on the front here. Maybe add two of them, and hopefully that'll balance it out. Uh, there is... Uh, center of mass. So maybe, maybe I'll adjust that a little bit, and that's where actually these lead weights come in. Uh, go a little bit more. Alright, let's try that. And now it's too heavy. Get a little bit of buoyancy with these barrels. Maybe, I think this should work. And let's see what that does. That's a little better. Alright, let's see if we can do this. And I zoom in too. Uh, one of the crafts I was building in another map is I had uh, put prop propellers on the bottom to see if I could submerge it. Like a submarine and I automatically key bound it to uh, Q and E so the developers of uh, Figured everything out. Am I actually going to make this in 60 seconds? Am I going to make it in 45? No. Not 45, but 60 at least. There we go. Yay. 45, 45th place. Alright, what do we got next? The wingless ship. And now we have... Uh, which one is this one? I know there's an active and a passive block. But anyways, advanced steer. Steer controls be achieved by a different. Part comedy. I have no idea what they're talking about on that one. Survive more than 15 seconds under fire. Like what? Like gunfire or fire fire? Huh. Um. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, okay. Oh. Just gotta not get hit. That's all it is. Really basic stuff. Oh. What do they mean here? Oh. There we go. I didn't see the prompt at the bottom. Alright, um, hmm. Just give it another shot then. Just avoid the red circles. I think this one actually might be pretty easy because it looks like he's just going around at the end. Oh! There we go. I finished it. Barely. 
Okay, what do we have next? All right, oh, the rotational part. So this is basically just a rotor that we can manually control. Uh, physics knowledge, some parts can, that originally unable to, to turn can also have steering functions. I wonder what they mean by that. Like I know we have uh, this uh, manual rotator and as you can see, it gives a little demonstration of what it does. It actually works like a flywheel, so it's pretty good. All right, uh, I get to the times bonus spots, reach it end in the time limit. Uh, get the hull at least 4,000%. Okay, uh, I have no idea how far we gotta go. Let's give it a shot and see what, how far we get. Oh. Oh yeah, the, the water physics are something else. It was taking me a little time. I was having a bit of trouble. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I was having trouble uh, getting used to it. Uh-oh. Something bad's gonna happen. Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, I gotta get these crystals in. Interesting. It's a good thing I did a little bit of, bit of building practice to figure out how to build a craft that actually works. It was funny in the tutorial, it was uh, telling you what parts to add and told you to add a gun to your ship and the ship just sinks right to the bottom and then it starts explaining about buoyancy and you had to get the, the buoyancy barrels and stuff. Uh, I shouldn't have done into that. I can't hit one more. I gotta stay at least 4,000. Might have to do a bit of a rebuild on this thing. A little slow. Kind of drives like a boat. Oh, ah! Mission failed. Let's try again. All right, let's let me see what I can work out here, and we'll try this again. Okay, let's try this one. Added some more engines. I put to, or more propellers. I uh, got rid of the rudders, and I put some propeller uh, propellers on the side for better steering, and uh, rebalanced the weight a little bit. And now that I know, I need to go for these crystals right away. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I was thinking about upgrading and see if I could find something with a little more durability. Uh, I don't know if crashing into things is affecting me, but... Oh, that was a close one. Get these crystals. I don't think it does. Either that I wasn't driving fast enough to actually do damage. Okay, as soon as I stop bouncing around... Uh-oh. That ain't good. Oh, I guess I'm finishing up like this. I can't reset or... And there goes the rest of my ship. Alright, let's try this again. I gotta remember no hard turns. Probably could make it a little bit wider too. It's really the maneuverability that's affecting me right now. But we all know it's my bad driving. I am no sea captain. Come on. Come on, camera. Work with me. Yes, I will remind you, it is early access, so... Uh, there's always going to be improvements. They actually had to re release an update right away. There was um, one issue they were having. I can't remember what it was, but it was just a minor thing. Okay. I haven't taken any damage yet. Oh, wait for this. And I missed. Of course. I should get this thing strafing. Okay. Now I just gotta make it in time, and I'm over time. Oh, maybe not. Get time extensions. But 
hopefully it's just a straight run now. I do have some durability left so I can take a few hits. Let's try not to take every hit. Okay. Come on. And I lost. Alright, let me try something. I'm gonna see if I can get some counter steering on. Okay, let's try this. I had uh, a little bit more buoyancy here, just a couple of things. And I take the first hit, of course I do. Alright, so steering's a little bit better. Aye. And... I think that's gonna be it for this one. That's where the counter steer comes in handy, so at least I can get myself out of the corner really easy. And... Let's try this again without hitting everything. Wait for it. Okay. Go get our, our time extension. I'm trying not to capsize while we're at it. There's also, uh, uh, as far as I know, like a full, full on, like, painting and uh, texturing schema uh, setup so we can do, like, different colors and I believe textures. I don't know if we can import textures or not. Or not, but that's there. There's also uh, Steam Workshop support. So well, that's always good. Interesting to see what kind of creations are gonna arrive in the workshop. Okay, having those that second propellers, I got them right next to the barrel there. And to move the barrels forward. At least it gives you that sound that you've been hit. Perfect. Oh my god, I made progress to slap. I have one hit left. Wait for it. Take the time. The checkpoint is right here. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. No. No. Ugh. Good enough. I'll try one more. And then, uh, check the time. Okay. And now we have our first weapon. A fixed crossbow. Damage is not high, but firing rate is very fast. Alright. And there's also, um... A mouse wheel to choose from different weapons to actually fire from. There's actually, like I said, a nice selection of them. On uh, this one, we have the crossbow. It's actually pretty big. I'm wondering. Uh, let's actually get uh, get the center mass up because I don't know how heavy these things are. But we can get two of them. Can we put a third one back here. Can we put it on the front. Yeah. All right. So is that all it says is a firing range? I think it is. Alright, let's start this over. Okay, yeah, 30 points for hitting the target. Uh, that's check one, 30 seconds. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what we do here. So I go up to here. Wait for the reload. Okay, I got gotcha. you. So I gotta hit three targets. Yeah, uh, you gotta be careful sometimes when you're aiming because your reticle is not on the target that you hit when you're hitting the mouse, and it sort of goes flying off. Different weapons take longer to load, and there we go. Okay, so we are on to the next level, Range Hero. Uh, target accurately. Yeah, okay, I'm pat okay, so we gotta actually take something out here. So let me check the time and see where we're at. Okay, I think we got time to do one more. And so let's see, we got a pass checkpoint in 60 seconds. We gotta destroy three enemy ships and 
surpassing obstacles in a, obstacles in a minute and a half. Okay, well, let's go with our current setup and see what we have here. Let's see how far we can get. So let's take out that. Take out that. And that. Okay. Helps when you have three crossbows going at one time. Kind of hard to shoot and drive at the same time. There's actually one weapon I like that they have in the game that I actually like. It's uh, the saw blade launcher. Okay, I might actually get this one. Okay. Off to the next checkpoint. Okay, what do I have to do here? Not miss, that's what I gotta do. I didn't do it in 60 seconds, but I definitely made it. Probably killed more enemies than I needed to. Okay, well, I think we're going to leave this one here, and we'll continue on in the next episode, and, uh, we'll have some fun with the cannon by the looks of it. All right, yes. Uh, which one is this one? Oh, okay, yeah, that's just a blasting cannon. All right, well, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like, and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.